After installing the software, the software icon will appear on your desktop. Double-clicking the icon will open the login window used to enter your username and password. Type in the username and password in the appropriate fields. You can set the software to save your username, password or both of them. At this stage, I need to select the server. If my username is defined for the demo mode, I'll select the demo server. If my username is defined for trading in a real money account, I'll select the appropriate server. Now I'll select the demo server and click OK. The trading software opens. If the software does not open, check the internet connection or note any messages that may appear in the password entry window. This is the trading software's default screen. Now I can adjust the screen as I wish. The external borders of the window can be dragged to fit the screen size. I will adjust it to the size of my screen. After arranging the windows conveniently, I will save the screen layout as the new default screen, so that whenever I reopen the trading software, the default screen will open. I'll save the new screen layout by clicking File and Save Screen. It's advisable to save the new screen layout under the name Default, since the trading software is programmed to open this file name. What can I see in the default screen? Located in the upper left corner are the Action and Setup buttons. It's recommended that you read the usage instructions for the trading software and learn their roles. Located underneath are buttons used for opening new windows. In the upper left corner of each window, you'll see a unique symbol. If I wish to open a new window, for example a graph, I'll look for the matching symbol, click it and open the window I need. The default screen contains two graphs. You can open up to 20 different graphs at a time. This is the Transactions window. The Time and Sale Transaction window displays, in real time, all the transactions performed on the selected stock. This is the Account Manager window. In this window, you can see the account balance and the profit and loss. In the Trade Manager window, you can see the open transaction orders, buy, sell and stop loss orders. In the Market Watch window, you can track data about stocks and indexes. You can add or delete symbols as necessary. The stock box trading window is composed of several parts. The upper area displays the basic price data for the stock, or as they're called, the level 1. The high price, low price, turnover and daily change percentage. In the corner of the trading window, enter the stock symbol. For example, if you enter the AAPL ticker symbol that represents the Apple stock and then press enter on your keyboard, Apple stock figures will be displayed. The trading window can be linked to additional windows by dragging the anchor sign. Thus, for example, if I drag the anchor sign to the two graph windows and the time and sale window, then whenever I change the stock ticker symbol in the window, the new figures will be displayed on all the related windows. The central part of the trading window is devoted to trading orders. Buy, Sell, Short, Number of Stocks and Types of Orders buttons. In another lesson, we'll learn how to use the various trading orders. In the lower part of the trading window, in-depth trading data is displayed, called Level 2, with buyers on the left, sellers on the right. The graph window shows price data and data about the stock's turnover. On the graph, you can change or add data, and we'll learn how to do this in another lesson. Information about the stock is presented on the graph. You can change to another stock by simply entering the new symbol and then press enter on your keyboard. You can change the ranges of the display by using various buttons. You can display different periods of time. Daily graph, weekly graph, monthly graph and an interday graph. 
In the interday graph, you can change the time periods. For example, minute, five minutes, etc. Thanks for watching.